Greetings, YouTube. I've got a bit of news here out of Colorado today. There's a billboard on I-70 near the business loop, um, which has a big depiction of Obama. Actually, technically, four different Obamas. Um, and in these different images of our president, there is he is depicted as a terrorist, a gangster, a Mexican bandit, and a gay man. And this is being funded by, come on, you can say it, the Tea Party. Yes, folks, the Tea Party has decided that our president is all these evil things. Now, I know what you're going to say, that they're entitled to their opinion, and they are. In fact, I fully endorse their First Amendment rights. I endorse everyone's First Amendment rights, mine included, because it helps me identify the people who are raging asshats, such as the people that put up this billboard depicting our president as a terrorist and a bandit and a gangster and a gay man. Um, I'm baffled by this. Now, you can take umbrage at President Obama's policies. Go ahead. Um, there are policies that he, do, he has supported in the past that I oppose. It's mostly personal opinions. He personally opposes gun ownership and he personally opposes same-sex marriage. But his official policies, the ones he's put into place, I support them. I voted for the man. I'll vote for the man again in uh, 2012 because there isn't going to be any viable alternative. Um, Kucinich isn't running and he wouldn't win it even if he was. Uh, but this billboard seems to be pandering to the basest level of bigotry and racism in America. Plain and simple. This is a dog whistle to every bigot on the entire continent, not just in Colorado. Though it's obviously aimed at Coloradans. Coloradans? Yeah, Coloradans, I think. Uh, so... Again, I'm confused as how this supports their taxed enough stance because this doesn't appear to be about taxes. This appears to be about depicting the president in different stereotypically bigoted manners. Um, again, if someone from the Tea Party could uh, educate me as to how this does in fact discuss uh, Americans being taxed too much, uh, even though the vast majority of Americans aren't taxed too much, and the tax dollars we do spend go to pay for all the things that we desperately need as a nation, you know, like the fire departments and police departments and the Coast Guard and the education system and libraries and the park system and the military and, you know, civilization. But some people are opposed to that. Some people want to believe in a libertarian utopia where you only pay for the exact things you want to pay for at the moment you want to pay for them, even though that would mean destroying the entire infrastructure of our nation. And for any person that is opposed to paying taxes, again, I suggest that you move to the libertarian utopia of Somalia, where they have no tax burden at all. I recommend you bring a lot of... Um, of your own medicine, food, water, and firearms, because you're going to have to defend yourself from everyone else around you who's going to want to get all of your medicine, food, water, and firearms, and who are going to be more than willing to step over your corpse to do so. But we have civilization here. Civilization requires an infrastructure, and infrastructure is paid for by taxes. So I'm not opposed to paying taxes. I'm really appreciative of the fact that the middle class, what little of it there is left, pay less taxes than, you know, the people at the top because they have a whole lot more money and they can afford to pay more taxes. But I'm funny that way. I guess I'm a dirty, filthy socialist. So I'm looking to be educated. Someone from the Tea Party, or a conservative in, in general will do, Explain to me how this billboard out in Colorado isn't rampantly racist. It isn't a dog whistle to every bigot on the continent. I'm waiting for a reasoned and civil reply. 
I have a feeling I'm going to be waiting for a really, really long.